Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week, we'll be talking about the Groovy Mr. project, updates to the Sega Saturn Core, Nintendo 64 updates, and more. Also, check out my channel sponsor, Mr. Add-ons, a place where you can get all your Mr. needs, things like full Mr. setups, IO boards, accessories, and more. Now let's get to the news. The Mistex FPGA board for QM Tech FPGAs is almost ready to be sent to be fabricated and a rendering of the almost complete board has been posted. Pricing looks to be really good. Ordering a run of five boards will cost $22 a piece assembled without headers. You can then insert a $70 FPGA and a Raspberry Pi microcontroller and everything will set you back around $120. Alternatively, you can use a $99 FPGA that offers more than twice the capacity of the Mister and everything will still be under $200. Later in the week, Hans was able to send a design for fabrication and Hans is willing to send some of the fabricated boards to interested developers. Since this project is currently using a different FPGA than the Cyclone 5 that's on the Mr. FPGA, cores still need to be ported. Mistex is a project whose goal is to be able to use the Mr. project on different FPGA chips and also different system on chips like the RISC-V or Raspberry Pi. The TAP2 project has been officially released. The project offers a whole suite of tools to be able to launch games from NFC cards. There is a custom reader you can build, cases that make you feel like you're inserting a real game card, image templates to print on labels and stick them to the NFC cards. There's also a web app to help you with that and the actual software to read the cards and run the games. The goal of this project is to get it working on more platforms outside the Mister, and the groundwork to help make that happen has just been finished. If you are interested in running games using NFC cards or tags, check out the Tap2 GitHub for more information. You can also check out Grumpy Old Gamer's eBay store that has some Tap2 starter kits available for sale. The Groovy Mister project just keeps getting better. Audio support was added by Calamity. There is also a front end in development by Big Blue Front End. Big Blue Front End also added Groovy Mr. Support to Supermodel, a Sega Model 3 emulator that can run games like Virtual Fighter 3, Daytona USA 2, and more. If you don't know what Groovy MAME is, it's a project that turns your Mr. into a virtual GPU. Then, with some supported versions of MAME, Mednafen, and RetroArch, you can output their gameplay to a CRT using the Mr. at very low latencies. This method can reduce the headaches involved in getting a PC to output to a CRT. Jimmy Stones made some changes to the Robotron core that makes a feature it had for years visible, high score auto saving. The changes still need to be approved before they show up on the core. There is an article on Patreon for the Nintendo 64 core that discusses just how the transition from Princess Peach to Bowser in the painting for Mario 64 works. It has to do with the level of detail feature that was added to the core. Check it out if you like to read technical info. Also, an RSP bug was fixed that caused random polygons to be missing in many games. If you are wanting to purchase some Mr. Laggy lag testers and you live in Europe, Ultimate Mr. is making them available for sale for 10 euros. Mr. Laggy is a low cost lag tester created by Mr. Developer Martin Donlin that can help you determine the amount of lag your display is causing. I have a video on the device if you want to find out more information. Developer Hotego always makes sure to maintain older cores by fixing issues and adding new features. He recently updated several cores with maintenance releases. The JTS House core, which runs games using the Splatterhouse hardware, was updated to include replacing the old MCU with a new JT6301 Cycle Accurate core. This new core offers some accuracy fixes. Pause support was also added to the core. For the CPS-1 core, several bootleg games were reinstated. This includes a whole bunch of Street Fighter 2 bootlegs and a Pang bootleg. In addition to those bootlegs being added, there were other maintenance fixes included. Other cores updated with maintenance fixes included the 1942 core, the JT Carniv core, the Haunted Castle core, the Contra core, CPS 1.5 core, JT Rumble core, and the System 16B core. The next game in the Mr. FPGA Discord Game Challenge is Tetris Attack for the Super NES. This challenge asks you to compete on the 2 minute time trial mode and goes until February 9th. The Sega Saturn Core also has been updated this week. There were VDP1 fixes that helped with Twinkle Star Sprites, Cube Battler, Xianryu, Power Drift, 
and Hang On GP. There were VD2 fixes that helped with some of those games, and also Parodius Da Deluxe Pack, and a Japanese game that I can't really pronounce. And finally, there was an SCU co-processor fix that helped with Tactics Ogre Let Us Cling Together. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in block form and to get more retro-related content. And if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.